Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, a little change of uh, background today. So, I was in the process of returning the watches to Cherry Creek Watch Company and Alex, and then I realized I forgot to take footage of me wearing today's watch. The Long Jeans Conquest Calendar. Very neat watch, and uh, I had a great time reviewing it because I realized this watch is very similar to the Omega Constellation Pipan. All right, here we have a close-up of the watch. This is the Longines Conquest. The line came out in 1954, and in 1956, Longines came out with the calendar version there. Uh, this one that we're looking at is a 1959 reference. Uh, reference 9007-6. It has a beautiful 18 karat rose gold capped case. Very beautiful. All right, I didn't want to remove the case back of the watch to take a look at the movement. So I found a couple pictures on the internet here on Katawiki. So here it is. This is a caliber 19 ASD. And you can see the uh, the perlage work in there, the decoration of the the circular swirls, and you can even see that it's on the back of the case as well. So very neat. Uh, you can see the jewels there. The attention to detail is just top notch with this watch. So the dial of this watch is just amazing. So. No patina going on here except for the small amount of loom that's been used on the dial and the handset here. Just a, an amazing, beautiful, classic watch. One of the neatest features of this watch is on the back of the case, uh, this neat little medallion on the center of the, the case back has a fish sticking its head out of the water. Um, if you take a close look at it, you can actually see the green enamel paint is applied so you can see the fish. It looks like it's underwater. It's a really neat feature of this medallion. And it's right up there with the coolness factor of the Omega Constellation Pie Pan. So speaking of which, here's the Longines up against my Omega Constellation Pie Pan. So you can see both were made in the same time frame, and both were very similar in looks, and both have medallions on the back of their watches. So very cool. The Omega has the observatory, and the Longines has the fish. All right, let's get into the size of this Longines. It is a 35 millimeter wide case and it is slightly thicker than the Omega Constellation with 12.8 millimeters in thickness compared to the Omega, which is only 11.6 millimeters. So just wearing it on the wrist, the Longines has more of a presence, more of a masculine feel to the watch. Not only is the Longines a little bit thicker than the Omega, but it's also a little bit wider than the Omega. Um, the Omega is 34 and a half millimeters, and like I said, the Longines is 35 millimeters, so slightly wider than the Constellation. The lug-to-lug -lug measurement is 42 millimeters, and the gap between the lugs is 18 millimeters, so perfect for the dress watch leather straps that we have on there. So overall, just a beautiful, beautiful watch. Classic vintage, classic dress watch. Perfect for guys or gals. All right, guys, thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed the review of the watch. Again, thank you, Cherry Creek Watch Company, for letting me borrow it. They're, they're right back there. We're gonna go see them next. Um, if you liked the video, please give me a like, please subscribe, and tell your friends about me. Appreciate it. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.